Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Redstock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of S, sorry, Figma Fate Stay Night Rider, number 69. I love this pose because well, I zoomed in so I can show you. I just want to show you because it's right from the box. Back of the box, oops, wrong way. I'll show you the box. Figma Rider from Action, fig, action Figure Figure Fate Stay Night. Don't know the anime. Number 69, there's Ryder inside the box over here. I like the uh, inside of the box. I don't know if you can tell, but you can definitely tell from this angle. This is what they're supposed to be showing. So, yeah, here we go. Figma, back of the box. That, that pose right there is also in the inside of the box. So, yeah, you can definitely pose her. She does have little glasses over here. I took that off. That's the pose I was trying to emulate. Didn't quite have it done. Uh, maybe if I... Uh, try to rotate that a little bit. I don't know. I don't care. That's what I was trying to do close enough So yeah, she looking good. She looking good Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, there we go. Well, I love the purple fuchsia looking color uh, Lavender whatever so let's just go uh, set that down show you what else we got it does come with a stand Figma stand So if you wanted to pose her in better poses, you certainly can't figure it does come with extra set of hands right now I have the little open fist over here and this fist right here so, and that's what I use to get the weapons because the weapon will go right there uh, splayed open hands again more splayed open hands closed fist uh, what do you call that weapon I could probably use that for the weapon as well and eh, might as well uh, does come with an extra face the face that it does come with actually on there has this neat little Japanese looking whatever there we go love the bloodshed right eyes uh, pseudo Japanese writing on there very face or sorry stoic looking void face there good detailing on that and also if you'd like you can put her put her little sunglasses here with a fuchsia uh, okay and all you have to do is to change out faces just pop that off all right there put that face just like that pop in the glasses like so yeah looking good and put in her huge hair yeah pink lavender fuchsia whatever color you want to do that humongous boobs uh, let's we'll see what else for articulation it does have neck neck articulation as well there we go she can crane has that dog collar look good looking detail on that whoops one of the things we got uh, dog collar ball jointed head so it does swivel quite a bit she is kind of on huge neck or long neck rather this thing's coming off I'll put that off when I'm done with the detailing it looks kind of weird I know ball jointed shoulder does the shrug very tight good detail on the arm with the fuchsia black uh, the wrist is open so it can do that and if you want you can definitely ch change out the wrist or the and I'll show you that uh, it doesn't have an ab crunch that I'm aware of I can cannot tell yep it does have an ab crunch waist swivel very minute kind of tight ball jointed hip doesn't have an upper thigh swivel yeah kinda uh, figma joint on the knee double jointed and ball jointed knee or sorry ankle so kind of limited in the articulation not as nice as I thought uh, I was looking for this figure I mean it's rare to get uh, it's a big big deal I got one open so you know I bought one that was open and to pretty much all you have to do to get the arms or sorry there we go or change out the fist is just pop out so it's really relatively easy to do so and this is one thing I like about Figma a lot of the other toys are a pain in the ass oh pardon my French to actually change out their extra parts so all you have to do comes with these nice little weapons they just slide in so I guess you want to grab it yeah, they should just go ahead and slide in. So it's being painful. Don't know why. Oh, at any rate. Maybe. And I mean, just maybe. And I'll try the uh, other ones over here. So it's easier to pop in. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Don't know why they have these other ones, but whatever. 
I like to pose with these weapons. So as no big deal, just slide it back in. There we go. She probably cut her hand. So she got these looking mean looking side weapons with humongous chains. Yeah, I just like that. I mean, I wish, and that's just maybe me, I just wish it had more articulation, better looking, better paint apps. It's just a little lacking for me. After all, you know, I just reviewed good old Barnaby Brooks here. And, you know, there we go. And for a size comparison, let me go ahead and show you that. This is her with Barnaby Brooks, so they're about the same size. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's not bad. It is what it is. I know I like to say that. So, they're about the same size, but for my money, I definitely get Barnaby Brooks over her. She seems plain, nondescript. Nothing wrong with her. I mean, she's looking all right, but it looks like they put a lot more articulation in her hair, and it's, it's very plain to me. Hair looks good. Lavender color. Definitely evil looking. Definitely whatever she does best I'll give her a 7 out of 10 she tries really hard alright that's all I got youtubers and I'll catch you all next time